Welcome, welcome. Today we're showing you from Brochu Walker, the designer, uh, Scene Pullover is the name of this one. Scene, S-E-I-N-E, -E, like the river. And it is a phenomenal little top. I love the way it looks and fits. We're gonna combine a couple patterns together for you to make this go from a little under 500 to much, much less. So we're gonna start with the pattern work. I've cut mine all out, but I'll show you how I did it. We're gonna use two patterns today. We're gonna to use 195, which is our sweater set. You guys know I love this pattern. And then 196 is the four-way Cardi, and we're gonna use them on top of each other, and that's what's gonna make our wrap. So the first thing I wanna do is actually make our pattern. So let me show you here how I did that. The original was a cashmere. And so I wanted to use something really nice because the original was like $500 or close to. So this is a mohair. It's a, it's a mohair knit. It's beautiful, beautiful piece of fabric. The stretch is going around. So I want to make sure that in everything I'm doing, the stretch is going around. But I've created two pieces from the four-way Cardi. So let me just show you. This is my actual original four-way Cardi here. And what I did is I laid it down and I traced it. Over on this edge, you can see that I added five inches. The width there is now five inches rather than it going to a point. And that's just because that's the way this one was by, by Mr. Walker. But I could have, um, I could have left it at a point and the point could have tied. It just, this particular one was wider. So keep in mind that here, once I did this, once I did that five inches wide, I took the neck edge and just slid it up of the original pattern and traced the new neckline. So nothing difficult. I traced all this, made that wide, and redrew the neckline. Then I added one more piece, and it's just one layer, and this is gonna be for the left side because the tie's over on the left side, and it's um, 20 inches long by seven inches wide. And you can see my writing, and I put the pattern pieces face up so this is gonna be the right side, this is gonna be the left side, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna tie like that on the cardigan. Okay, that's what it's gonna look like. My fabric is um, both sides are good. It doesn't have to be. You'll just see a right and wrong side. And this particular fabric, you can see it kind of rolls, and I love that because I'm not gonna finish any of my edges. I'm gonna leave them undone. No serger in this one. Um, it's just gonna be all straight sewing. And then the other pieces I did are literally just my 195. They're my sleeve, my front, and then my back. And I know y'all have seen me sew plenty, or cut plenty, and sew plenty both. So I've already cut the pieces out, and because I wanna show you a couple techniques and this video was gonna go a little longer, I went ahead and left all that out. But one thing I am gonna do, and again, the original was done like this, is when the front and back, and I'll show you when I'm sewing, are gonna be sewn together, I'm actually gonna take just a quarter inch seam allowance instead of 3 8 and I'm gonna sew it to the right side. So I'm actually gonna put wrong sides together, and what's gonna happen is they have like a, you'll see it in Better Ready to Wear on cashmere sweaters, it has like a little edging all the way around it. And again, when we get up to the sewing, I'll show you. But that's it, easy enough to do, do your two pieces, get a great fabric that you love, um, you don't have to leave the edges raw. You can do all of it just like normal, but um, that's just what I'm gonna do on this particular sweater. So, 195, 196, Brichu Walker is the name of the designer Nordstrom's, only a little $500 little wrap top. It's called the Scene Wrap, S-E-I-N-E, -E, like the Scene River. And so we are going to go make it happen. Let's go sew. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my French darts. And I've got three French darts. I've got two on my sweater and then one on my cardigan. And I am gonna do these with the wrong, with the right sides together, just like normal French darts. All right, then I'm gonna sew the front to the back. And this technique, I'm just gonna show you this on the one time. I'm going to lay my 
sweater set down. I'm going to lay my cardigan on top. And my cardigan's shoulder seam is wider than my sweater set. So I want to leave the width toward the neckline. The armhole itself will be the same so that when I set in the sleeve, uh, there won't be any, it won't be any differences. It will be exactly like it is. But I'm going to show you this technique of sewing the sweater together. And, and I'll do the same on the armhole and the sleeve. I'll do the same on the side seams. I'll do the same all the, everywhere. It's not done with a serger. This is the front. And this is, again, this is my um, sweater set. And then it's my cardigan on top. My cardigan's wider. That's towards center front. I'm leaving this completely um, unhemmed, unfinished. I'm just going to leave it. But when I sew it to the back, and this is my back, I'm actually going to sew wrong sides together. I'm just going to sew all those layers. And I didn't change my seam allowance. I left it 3 eighths, but I'm only going to sew a quarter of an inch. So it's a very small seam allowance. It catches all the layers. And it's just left to the right side. Now, I don't even backstitch, don't do anything. But that's the way the seam will look. And it's done on sweaters. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. I mean, if you want to, you could trim it a little bit. I'm going to leave it just like it is. And so when I do the sleeve, it's the same. When I do the side seams, it's the same. And so it has a little bit of a raised edge to it. And especially in a solid, it has a really beautiful look. So I'm just going to go ahead and make the rest of the cardigan and do it the same way. Here, because it's the very edge of the neckline, I'm going to tie that off. I don't want to backstitch. I think it's a little smoother look. You could backstitch. I'm going to choose to tie it. On the cardigan side, I didn't do anything because it's just one layer. And so it doesn't have to be tied off. I've got some room for error. And I want it to be wider. It doesn't meet there. It should be wider. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put my sleeves in. On this side, what I did is I pinned it together just to hold the raw edges of this front together. And I'm going to put my sleeve in normal way. Well, not normal, but I mean, again, uh, but I'm going to do it flat. And I'm just going to sew with seams to the upside. And I'm going to take just a quarter inch seam allowance. It leaves a little extra seam allowance, but it's not enough to have to worry about. When I'm going to sew the side seam, um, remember that the cardigan is longer. So it'll just leave it. And again, I'm leaving all my edges raw. So it's not a lot of sewing and it's almost done. <laughs>
we're done. Oh, love my new wrap. Can't wait to try it on. Brochu Walker, now the pullover that I have on. I love it. Little details, brochure. You have to look him up because it's got, he's got some great looks. This is just one of them. B-R-O-C-H-U, Brochu Walker. You'll find his own store. You'll find him at Nordstrom's. Again, just a great variety. Canadian, European, California, really blend of flair. Remember on this, I did the seams to the outside, just that little quarter inch. You'll see it's not a big difference, but where all your edges are raw, it gives a really complete kind of a rough look to the whole entire outfit. So I love my new outfit. I hope you'll make one just like it. Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.